In this video, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step guide on exactly how to embed your lovable AI web app in Shopify. So to be able to actually embed it, you're going to firstly go into Shopify and then you're going to go into online store right here and then click on themes. And now you should be taken to this page right here. Now where it says current theme, you're going to click on customize right here because then it should now take you to this page, which is perfect. So on this page right here, we can now click on where it says template right here, click on add section. Then you're going to search for custom liquid and then click on it as you can see. It's going to now add you a custom liquid and you can actually uh, attach it exactly where you want it to be. So for example, right here, um, yeah, we can actually have it uh, just underneath our featured collection, I think is best. So now click on custom liquid here and now there's going to be a liquid code that you need to enter. And I'm going to actually enter the code down below as a pinned comment, just so you know. So you can just copy it basically. So I'm just going to paste it right here. And this is for my specific uh, site, by the way. So I'm just going to save this one right here, just real quick. And as you can see, if I scroll down now, I will be able to view my world clock right here. So yeah, this is the one that I made uh, myself on Lovable, but I'm going to show you what you need to do on the Lovable web app as well. So now go into Lovable, then you're going to scroll down and choose one of your projects right here, as you can see. Now when you're on your project here, then what you need to do in here, I'm just going to show you, you need to click on publish right here firstly. So click on publish because if you haven't published it, then it's not going to work. And then when you pl publish it, you're going to get a link here. You can click on the link and now you're going to copy the link uh, here. So I'm just going to copy it real quick. And then uh, when you are on your liquid code, the, this link right here is going to be under source here. So if you just, you're just going to paste it right here, as you can see. And then when you have done so, you will be able to actually see your world clock right here after or not world clock but your project of course so yeah i mean it's not much harder than that and don't forget to click on save here of course and once again the code is going to be down below and that is basically exactly how to do this